Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to continue to try using the custom league feature for franchise mode and we're going to use it to make a six team league. Normally in drafts we're used to there being 32 teams so there is a big gap between picks. That is not the case anymore. 84 games just for fun. I wish you could do more than that but I'm not going to be picky honestly. They've given us so much this year with just this alone that I am satisfied. Oh, that's really cool. If you set it to six, they just immediately give you the original six. I was gonna do that anyway, but now I don't have to. There isn't very many possibilities for what team we could land on, but I'm still gonna randomize it and I will be stopping approximately now. We get Chicago. Is this gonna make it so that only players from those six teams are available or is it going to make it so the entire NHL roster is available? I'm not sure, but we're going to find out. It doesn't matter what your name is, Jabroni. You're not editing my lines. My odds of guessing what pick we get have drastically increased, but I will probably still get it wrong. However, I will say we get pick number two. Yeah. Will I be correct? Well, let's find out. No, I was not. Yep, by the looks of it, it is the original six teams only. And I will be starting off with the man, the myth, the legend. Igor Shosturkin, 92 overall. What an icon. Get on my squad immediately. We do have Adam Fox. I feel like I'm going to regret this, but I kind of want to go with Moritz. I don't know why. I just do. 87 overall. Yeah, I feel like I have to. I'm not sure why I feel that way, but I'm doing it. Ooh, let's go with Chris Kreider as our next selection. 6.5 milli. Will Nye the hockey guy. He's 87 overall. Got a few abilities sprinkled in there, making basically 7 million. Yeah, we just need a centerman. And our first line is complete. I'm debating between Trocek and Kopp. Their salary is identical. Kopp is one year younger. He's got the medium top nine, whereas Trocek is medium top six. Two way forward, two way forward. 87 face-offs, 82 face-offs. Let's go with Vinny. I feel like this draft is going to be miserable, but this seems to work in the past. So I'm going to try taking some not so high overall, but high potential players. Truba is right-handed. What handedness is Moritz? Also right-handed. Lovely. You know what? I don't care. Taking him anyway. And I will be selecting Grizzlick, as he is a left-handed defender. This guy just seems to find the back of the net, so bunting, welcome to the squad. Dylan Genther. He is 73 overall. Edvinson is 75. He's a left-handed defenseman. I feel like that might work out. Yeah, let's go for it. Now watch, the time that I'm doing this on purpose, and by that I mean like selecting low overall but high potential players, it's not going to work in my favor at all and we're going to get rinsed. Mr. Kubalik. Ah, uh, we need a centerman actually. Hold on. 84 overall. 1 million. I mean, he is 36, but we're only doing one year. David Krejci. Let's go for it. I have once again been ignorant to a backup goaltender. Chalgren and Wall, same overall. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like Caden is just the best pick here as a 23-year-old 79 and medium starter. He's got like the highest potential for his overall and he's not making a whole lot either. So welcome aboard. All right, Dylan, let's make it work. We do have a lot of cap space. So truthfully, I'm just going to send it. Let's go, Johnny Toes. I know everyone out there thinks that it's pronounced Taves, but you're wrong. Sorry. I'm joking. Calm down. But Gallagher's our next selection. We got 21 mil left. We need our fourth line and two more defenders. And currently, we have two lefties and two righties. Forbert. You know what? I am actually going to add Forbert. 18 mil. Can we afford him? That is the question. 5.5. Yee. Probably not. Not a good idea. Barclay Goudreau. A little more affordable. 70 discipline. Not super attractive. Not going to lie. But still going to select him nonetheless. Still going to send it though. Craig. He has three and a half star defense, 85 discipline. Let's go ahead and make him our last right wing selection. All right, I changed my mind. We can, in fact, afford him. So I'm going to go ahead and select Josh. We'll just have to put a winger in the middle. Hopefully one of them can take draws. Going to make sure I don't butcher this. So we took Forbert, who is a left-handed defenseman. So we need another righty. Christoph Weidman, 81 overall making 765k. That's pretty solid. He will be our final selection. I also got to try to make sure that, you know, the younger players do get put into the roster because when I do the rest of the draft here, simulate it, probably going to get some players that are higher overall, but maybe not. Sometimes they do, sometimes they do not. Let's find out. So we took Weidman and then Sunkfist, Vlasic, Ratti, uh, we might be fine. I'm still relatively slowly getting my voice back, but the good news is I am getting it back. What an absolutely insulting trade. Get out of my face. Yeah, 
I don't think we're going to do too well. Barkley Goudreau has 75 face-offs, so congratulations, you've been promoted. Kako, you're going to the left side because you shoot left. Really not a fan of this dash one down here, but it is roll three lines. Maybe I'll actually do this. Move Johnny up to play with Genther and Capo. Plus three on the power play. I'm a fan of that. Defensively, we have Moritz playing with Grizzlick, Forbert playing with Truba, and then Weidman and Vlasic. No, we are not going to play. Wait a minute. Who's this guy? 76 overall. Ooh. Now nah, I'm putting Edvinson in. I don't care. So we have a plus one and then zeros. And offensively, we have a plus one, two zeros, and then a dash one. We're going to be leaning on you big time, Igor. So I need a very, very solid performance from you this season. I'm going to instill a little bit of faith in the boys. I'm going to say that we get 46 wins. We make the playoffs because I don't think you can miss the playoffs. I could be wrong though. I have no idea how this works. We didn't do terrible in the preseason. So we had a horrific start, but we are bouncing back quick. And now we are sucking again real quick. This simulation speed is outrageous. I wonder if it's actually faster because of the lack of teams. I would think yes, that would play a role. All right, this just in, we're stinky. I'm gonna set us to a buyer because we do know this is a one year thing. And I wanna try to beef up a little bit here if we can. Bertuzzi, Hull, both available. Domi as well. His trade value is not that high. What's his points looking like this year? He's got 42 in 66 games. I have no idea what line he's on though. Is there a way to see that from here? Maybe. <laughs> I love how the seventh round draft pick has like a decent amount of value because of the fact that there is only six teams. I feel like that's such an easy way to finesse trades. But will Detroit fall for it? They will not. All right, hear me out. A fourth and Sunkfist for Taylor Hall. Okay, that is a sweet proposal. You're darn right it is. Bertuzzi's already gone. We could get TJ Brody, but I don't really know. Oh, here we go. They want... I mean... Sure, why not? Oh, and Brody is now gone. That's unfortunate. And so is Giordano. Holy crap, everyone's going. We added Taylor Hall. Let's just see what happens. Probably not much. I'm just going to go with best line. So this is what they want. Trocek to be on the wing on the second line. Fair enough. They want Taylor Hall line number two. I'm pretty sure. So he's listed as a first line and he is not. Taylor Hall's listed as second line. Yep, so it was our entire second line. Smith, third line. We actually have Jonathan Taves listed as second line, but he is... Suffering on the third and we have two players listed as a second line forward on our fourth line So I apologize in advance for that guys defensively We still got Grizzly and Moritz Truba Forbert Forbert and Weidman playing with Edvinson. All right. Yeah, we're probably gonna do What we're gonna do what now? We're probably gonna do terrible. I was gonna say terrible. I don't know <laughs> I have no idea. Don't even ask. Yeah, let's simulate the rest of the season here Shall we we're actually not doing awful 26 27 and 12. It's not good, but could be worse. Much worse. Okay, we're winning some hockey games here. Enough to move us out of last place, so that is a positive. And we... Didn't make it? I think? Well, that's a rough go. Imagine not making the playoffs in a six-team league. Straight up embarrassing. I should have taken Adam Fox. Should have done it. I mean, there's probably many things I should have done. Will Nye, 76 points. It's pretty good. So we finished fifth and we were 10 points behind the Bruins. Yeah, we didn't even stand a chance. The Toronto Maple Leafs get the President's Trophy. They had Lafreniere, Zibanejad, and Kane. Yep, fair enough. Seth Jones, Matheson. Their second line was Kubelik, Bergeron, and Kravstov. And they had Allmark and Nett. Okay. However, it would be the Montreal Canadiens that would win the Stanley Cup. And they had Fabry, Matthews, and Marner. So they kept Matthews and Marner together. They had Swayman and Nett. Larkin, Milano, Obey, Kubel. Brody, Lindholm. Yeah. Okay. I see you. Listen, I tried something. Did a little experiment. Did not pay off whatsoever. Igor barely sneaking in a 900. He had a 901 and a 306 GAA. Not a phenomenal record. How, what? How did Primo do so well? 9-4-4 four, and four with a 9-0-7 and a 3-flat. Grizzlick had the most points for us. Okay, Moritz did not sim too well. Does he normally sim bad? I don't remember. I've done quite a few sims now and I feel like I haven't seen him really. So maybe he does sim poorly. But even Adam Fox was simming bad for me. So I don't know. Maybe it's just a team I put together. I'm just a very, very bad GM. Ned led the league. He had 34 dubs, a 912 save percentage and a 274 GAA. I think he's going to win a couple trophies this year. Defensively, Morgan Riley led the league with 67 points. Seth Jones had 62. And of course, there's Foxy at 60. Kane got 118 and 58 goals. Matthews had 54 five goals. Zabinijad with 108 points, so there was three players to break the hundo mark. As I mentioned, Montreal Canadiens with the Stanley Cup, and as we saw, Toronto Maple Leafs, President's Trophy winners, Hattrick Kane gets the Art Ross and the Hart. 
Maury with the James Norris. Patty Kane with the Lady Bing. Shane Wright gets the Calder. Hold on. I guess probably because he's still assigned to Kingston would be my assumption. So he was still available. Obey Kubel gets the Con Smythe. I wonder if he still dropped the cup. Ned with the Vesna. Omar gets the Jennings though. Fox with the Masterton. Dumont gets the Jack Adams. Bergeron with the Selkie because of course. Kane with the Ted Lindsay and he also gets the Rocket Richard. Not a bad year for him. Here is your extremely minimal playoff tree. That's how the whole thing went down. It was a sweep in the finals. Montreal rinsed the Detroit Red Wings. How did he get the Con Smythe? That's interesting. He had nine points. He was a plus 10, which I guess makes a good case. But oh my word, a 41.7 shooting percentage. I get it now. That all makes sense. Swayman had a 931 and a record of 8, 2, and 1. Not too shabby. All right. Well, thank you for watching that video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying NHL 23 and hopefully you're enjoying the content. On that note, folks, I appreciate you and I will be seeing you soon.